before I came to ALA, I was interested in going to medical school at ALA. We had this amazing biology teacher called Mr. Scudder, who one day were like, we want to isolate our DNA. So we got cells from our cheek, we had this kind of water organic mixture. Right? So my DNA pretty much climbing up the water uh, organic interface. And I was blown away. I'm like, wow, so you can actually do that. Reading a lot about like the Human Genome Project where they sequence the genome of man and then how that has helped in treating a lot of diseases that we had no idea about before. So that got me interested in research. I'm like, okay, maybe instead of going to medical school, I want to be creative in actually coming up with solutions. And I think that got me on the track for pursuing research and pursuing PhD. So I can say that where I am now and the passion I have now started at ALA. I went to Michigan State University after ALA, knowing that I wanted to do research in one, one form or the other. MSU gave me a very generous scholarship. My second week of going to MSU, I went to professors saying, can I do research in your lab? And we're all like, you're a freshman, you just came just two weeks into this. Are you really sure you want to do research? I'm like, yes. And so through that, talking to people, I had a lot of no's of no, like we don't have money, we cannot fund you. But then went to the Honors College and then talked to people there and they had funding. I had a notice of the funding 24 hours before the deadline. So stayed up all night because I, I really wanted to do research. And I had the funding and then got into a lab. So all four years of my undergrad, I did research in a very wonderful lab. My first year after doing research in the lab, I wanted to do an internship. LA was really involved. I remember contacting Mr. Scudder. Then Mr. Scudder emails me and goes like, oh yeah, so I just talked to the director of the National Institutes of Health. So that was how the NIH internship program was set up. After graduating, I was able to get a one-year research internship at MIT where I worked in the cancer field. After working there for a year, I got into Harvard. Many people, when they have cancer, they have been treated with either chemotherapy or radiation. But then there's usually a lot of relapse. The immune system has something called memory, right? And that's why vaccination is important. And so then with memory, if the cancer tries to come back again, the immune system is educated enough to be able to clear it. I'm working in that field called immunotherapy. Now, more specifically, being an engineer, I'm interested in building tools that will help us, one, understand how cancer unfortunately clears our immune system ability to fight it, and then also how to effectively make immunotherapy better at uh, treating cancer. Many African countries play catch up. We wait for the breakthroughs to come from the West, whether the US or the UK, and then we follow. But what we do not realize is that a lot of breakthroughs are specific to them, right? And so then we just have to try to adapt it to our situation, which doesn't always work. That's my long-term vision in terms of um, developing Africa-centric solutions to, to the diseases that plague us. When I was at ALA, one of the words we threw around often is passion. It really reflected the sort of heart we had for the things that we wanted to do and for the quest things that we wanted to answer. And that is one thing about research that I have realized is that there are a lot of downs in research. Experiments fail. But then what keeps people going is a passion for pursuing the things that they want to do.